Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? So I never found this Gunter guy. I followed the tracks, but they really stopped there, so I don't know what's happening. So I'm back at the lodge. And there's a new mission that wants us to harvest a wild boar. And we know the white boar already. So I will focus also on Lynx, Eurasian Lynx. I will try to get one of these guys. Just want to make sure I bring the wild boar collar. And the deer bleed, there is no point bringing that here. Oh, wild, wild boar is loaded. I just need to make sure it is assigned to one of the slots. It might be already. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Number eight for the wild, bo wild boar collar. And the mission is again over here. Well, actually, <laughs> over here. So since I need to go there quickly for the wild boar, and also I've seen links there. I will get the ATV out of the garage. And we're heading east. There's some frozen lakes here where you can see the animal further, but of course they can see you as well. And we've already collected two wild boar in the first taiga episode here. So it's not hard. I still bring the 338. So I usually miss on the integrity bonus. But actually, since I want to go for Lynx as well, and maybe I'll switch. Almost there. This moose or reindeer. The good thing here is you can just leave the ATV behind. I always bring a tent now, but the problem with that is that um in order to carry a tent and three weapons, so a small rifle, a large rifle, and a uh, bow, you would have to wear the backpack. But with the backpack, you are louder and more visible. Which uh, I don't want. So as long as I have a tent, I can only bring two rifles, uh, two weapons. Will you give me some pictures? There it is, 270 Warden. And I already have the ammunition. All 
right, so let's see. That's a weird setup. I don't like the inventory. How this is done. This is much better in the Hunter Classic. Really don't know why the same programmers have gone and made it so difficult. They changed it already once. This was different before. Um, but it went from pretty bad to just bad. Can I say here? Oops. Oh. Uh. I just removed it. You know, I want to click here and say, let me choose from the existing ammo. But nope, you have to do this drag and drop stuff, which is, oh well. Now I'm going the wrong way. So wild boar and lynx. I want to shoot a lynx. That is really my goal. Oh, is it this all the ammo that I have? So with the tent, we have a mobile store always with us as well. Go to the store. So 270, whatever the expensive one is. I use this all the time. And I stacked up to 33 shots. Getting darker. It's uh, seven, it's 6.30 uh, almost. And I believe at 7 the night sets in. And the night goes from 7 to 5 a.m. And during the night you have to use the lights. The L key will let you see the tracks. If you don't use the lights, you won't see the tracks. Let's see if we can see a difference exactly at... Seven o'clock, if that's the right time. So where do we have the wild boar caller? Number eight. So we have, uh, ooh, what is this? What the heck is this? Is this really white grass? Or is there a texture missing or something? Is that, this is weird. Is this supposed to be snowy grass? No, look at. So these are the reeds. They look okay from far. And as I get closer, they turn white. Interesting. When the, uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild started, there were calls all the time. And this has changed so much. I think this is more realistic, but it's isn't this a more arcade game? At least more arcade than classic. Maybe if some of you will ar argue it's not really arcade. It's still somewhat a simulation.
but um, not much going on. I've been running through the taiga a little bit already in the other episode, and I had some tracks and some calls. There's the weasel again. Go, 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 go. It's a new small game here in this reserve. Oh, back there we have something. Wild boar warning call. Thanks, Weasel, for taking me there. I will start luring them. That sounds like I'm pressing the tube just a little bit too much and the sound's not really coming out. Oh, there's an open area. On the map. Not a frozen lake here on the left. Mating call. Pretty close, it seems. Oops. Get down. We can hear something here. <coughs> wow, in real life, I wouldn't want to use this equipment here without gloves. This looks weird. I haven't looked at the gloves, if they added something for the taiga. Maybe we'll do that after we harvest the wild boar. This rock is not ideal. Too many shrubs around. The wind is in my right ear, out my left ear. That's not too bad. This would be bad if the wild boar came from here. But maybe they do run down wind. That's what the game sometim sometimes does. They circle you until they're downwind and they can smell. wild boar I'll get off this rock and I'm in the snow now let's go backwards see what that does you you leave footsteps <coughs> but it looks like you're not making a huge trench in the snow here Hello, wild boar. So it's three minutes to seven. Oh, I cannot see the track already. So maybe the night is from 6.30. See no track? Track. The 
The animals don't bother with the light. They don't care. But hey, what's the issue? What does it take so long? Well, to me, this is too much waiting too much hanging around calling nothing happens even though the boar's right there what's the problem <coughs> yes of course it should be somewhat realistic but hey imagine you're a new player you're calling and nothing happens So we just watch the snow, I guess. Well, I'm not going to freeze to death here because of this boar. Wild boar run, so that means, ooh, there you go. There they run. There's one. Hmm. <laughs> I was able to do a second shot at it. And I see it dead. That was easy now, once you see them. <whistles> Trophy rating 42, integrity bonus zero. With the 270, what do you want me to use? That is... Not as planned, but uh, anyway. Do I have to use a smaller weapon? So let's have a look at the mission screen. Oh, it completed. And all we have is Gunther's mission. Gunther is up here. You can follow tracks. They, they track stop here with this landmark. And I wonder if I go to another place if I get a new mission because this Gunther mission is somewhat weird. But also, I wanted to find a lynx.
So I'll look for Lynx tracks with this guy here, with the ATV. If I don't die before. So not many tracks, not many tracks. Wild boar. Let's go north. On the map, anything to unlock? Oh, there is a... There's an outpost. An outlook, I mean. That's different. Lookout post. That's the links. We found the tracks. Run. Excellent. Run means just now. That is equal to fleeing in the Hunter Classic. And I'm going against the wind. Perfect. Let's check out where the lure is. This is still there. Doesn't have an effect on the links right now because it's still stressed. But you can actually, you can catch up with foxes and coyotes. Uh, if you have a long view, sometimes you can see them after they have ran 100 150 meters away getting closer is a bit difficult but i will try my luck just now so this would be super slow and super silent and take super forever so I usually go, I put in the four wheel drive <laughs> for even for crouching. A lynx in the night. This will be, will be difficult. So the 270 that I bring will certainly be too large for that as well. Hello weasel. Let's check the map here. There is a huge open area, it seems. But right now the Lynx is taking a right here. Will it call maybe? I have a noise here. The track stopped, and I don't seem to follow the youngest track. So let's go for the noise. A oh, hunting lynx. 
in the middle of a in the middle of the night in a dark snowy wood. How successful is that gonna be? So this one said still ran run. Wild boar mating call. Remember the last wild boar never came. Oh, they, it's right there. Oh, the worst bug, the worst difficulty for me in this game is equipment goes up and down, up and down. Even with just one click. What happened to it the first time around? Oh, it's coming for me. <laughs> what a fight! <laughs> oh boy, did I really shoot three times at you before you dropped? And then you tell me it's integ integrity zero? So the weapon's too large for the integrity, but too small to kill you? Four shots. Oh. You're kidding. An arrow and three bullets. So maybe that's the integrity issue. The rifle's too large. So the lynx is lost. Let's go back and try and find it. Okay, we have connected again. Warning call from some deer. Now I'm liking the direction. It's going towards the more open area here. I wish I could lure you. Oh, there it is. Ah. Hmm. It just moved back when I shot. Not likely a hit. But all's are not likely going to call anymore. It did a weird twist backwards. Anyway, I missed. So. Quite difficult terrain. 
very dense. So tracking here a lynx is just killing yourself, so let's drive the lynx out here. No tracks, no signs of brown bear yet. Moose is around. Not following the latest track. Neither is this one. Oh wow. The cone is still, if you look on the hunter mate, the cone is still the same. It hasn't changed, so I'm not following the latest track. This I've read already. More tracks over here, let's see. That is certainly better than in classic. We have a timestamp, but you never know which one is the latest. You can only guess. So it went backwards, excellent. That's going to make it very easy. Where does that come from? <laughs> and then here, run. I would think it's been fleeing in this direction here. Lots of moose now. Are you the latest track here? No. Still no. Where did it flee? Ooh, there it is. Warning call down there. In the open. Nice. What a mess, if you look at the tracks on the hunter mate there. If that's even what it's called, this device.
being very loud now. Maybe you want to call again? I shouldn't have come in the night. <laughs> I could put up the tent and just sleep through the through uh, through the night till the morning. Well, which is the links here? This one. Morning call wild boar sounds pretty close. It doesn't look like the latest tracks, but glad we talked about it. So there's a few links around here. Oh boy. I was hoping it ran towards the open deer. Let's go see. Oh, is this frozen? So what looks like, oh no, this is, what is this? There must be water. I don't think the whole thing is frozen. No, it isn't. That's quite the call for a deer. Where are you? All the moose here. Maybe we'll get a warning call. If 
to run. Yeah, but from the dinosaur, I wanted it from the lynx. Lynx! <laughs> Can I shoot this from here? Not a stable shot. Two hundred sixty meters. It's trotting. there another one or is that just her one hundred and seventy meters we caught up almost a hundred meters how long can I keep walking until it runs And now it's trotting away. This is weird. Let's just check the setup here. Predator Jack Rabbit, number six for Eurasian Lynx. Not doing anything wrong. Maybe now. Now oh, it's trotting towards me. It's a nice, a nice way of showing this now. It took a little bit. Now it's coming. Oh, can I still see it? Yes, this is pretty cool. So now it is coming very slowly towards me. And I would think I don't have to do this all the time. Ninety three meters laying flat on the ground. <laughs> I had just one shot left. That's perfect. That is perfect. But honestly, the two seventy. Wouldn't we believe that was good enough? Yes! 
links ahead. No way up here in these shrubs, in this very dense forest. And then on the open frozen lake. It came, it didn't come, it came, it didn't come. So the calling, not sure if it did anything. And here is the lynx. Meow. Excellent, very nice, very nice. This is really nice. Quick drill, 95. Okay. 1100, very nice. And this was the goal, to shoot a lynx, to look at this animal, and we did it. Lights go off. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.